Yo, what is up, my crazy subscribers? This is Joking John City 4, and today we're gonna be talking about Destiny. We're gonna be reviewing every single category it has, like for example, replay value, graphics, story mode, game mechanics. We're gonna be talking about the armor designing, you know, how the game actually looks, and um, you know, several of the enemies, names, calling, and everything. We're gonna be breaking it down one by one, see how the game actually is for those people who hasn't played the game yet. Is it good? Is it bad? I'll let you know at the end of the video. So, first, we're going to be saying that, you know, Destiny, the Destiny that I'm actually reviewing is on the PS4. So, for those of the people who play the Xbox One, Xbox 360, and the PS3, I really do not know how the game is at over there. But, I am reviewing the PS4 version. So, let's start off with the category of the graphics. Of course, the most obvious one, um, it was toned down two months before release. It said it on their website, it said it on the tweets, that the game was going to be toned down a little bit on the graphics. And yes, it really showed. Because on the first few trailers, if you guys remember the first few gameplays they actually showed us about Destiny, it looked impressive as hell. It was 1080p and god damn it, the surroundings, the, the, the freaking sunlight, it looked amazing. It looked like actual next gen games. But no, they toned it down and now it looks like a game from the PS3. That's how it looks to me. Like, find the highest definition game on the PS3 and compare it to this one. It looks the same thing. So, I don't know why are developers, you know, not showing the potential of the next gen. I just don't know. But they could have they could have shown it and maybe boost up the sales of the consoles and even their, of their own game. Like, come on. Show us the power. Show us what the next gen caught. Next gen consoles have because if, the, if this keep, keeps going that that means that the next gen consoles are bullshit that means that they, they were never meant to go 1080p or something like show us their actual power so the graphics i'm just gonna give it a 6.7 out of 10 they could have done better but no it looks like freaking last gen you know graphics seriously i would have preferred to play the game they were showing us in the trailers in the beginning Back like in February or, or yeah, I think it was February when that PAX thing, right? When they first showed this game, the graphics looks impressive, but not when you actually play the game right now. So moving on to the next category, the story mode. Was it impressive? Was it something to be like, whoa about? You know, was it really worth playing? I would say it was just mostly reading. And half of the story is on the freaking internet. If you guys picked up some game cards along the way when you're playing the game on story mode and doing some few missions here and there, when you pick up a card, the game card or whatever, it'll tell you, read the rest of the story on Bungie.com. And I'm like, are you serious or is this a joke? Like, you really want me to go to the website to read your freaking story that was supposed to be implemented in the freaking game in the first place? that got me pretty pissed and then most of the time when you're playing the game guys it's gonna be subtitles like every time you go into a mission subtitles read the goddamn story or they'll, they'll actually tell it to you the, the freaking commander will talk to you and tell you like oh this is a problem this and this and like okay i'll do the mission and at the end of the mission the commander's gonna be like oh good job but this is still happening and blah 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 and i'm like dude Show me a cutscene of that happening. <laughs> you know, this is cutscenes. Show me cutscenes, man. If you have potential in creating such a great game, show me cutscenes. Maybe your game review, uh, you know, grade would have been higher. But no, there's no, like, very few cutscenes here and there. But, like, they're, like, the minor things that read them and make importance. And I'm like, dude, they could have done that with the story, you know. Let me explain the story correctly. You know, GTA has a lot of freaking cutscenes. All these other big games have cutscenes. Why the hell don't you have cutscenes on your game, man? It's next gen. Show me what you got. But no. So that's what really screwed up the story mode. Like no cutscenes. Story half of the story is on the freaking web page of Bungie, and um, I'm like, dude, just put the story in the game. So the story, I want to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Not impressive. Half of the story is in the internet, and most of the story is subtitle text. And there's very few cutscenes. Come on, man. Like, come on. Reading is good and all. It's just that, uh, you know, 
next gen. Show me something. Show me the badass cutscenes, man, that we're all waiting for. Maybe your, your story would have been more exciting than your boring ass commander just telling it for you. Like, come on. This ain't no reading class. Reading is good for you, by the way. So, so then you know, just, just go along with it. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to the next category: weapon designing, designs of everything, clothing, uh, weapon, weapon uh, designing, boss designing. Are they all good? Um, the bosses of the game are fun to play against. They're very challenging. They pretty much give you a challenge. They kill you however they want to kill you. I got killed by a few of them a few times, and uh, I was like, God damn, you know, the challenges and the bosses are pretty good. They're pretty fun to do. I'd rather do that over the freaking uh, bland ass missions. <laughs> the missions are horrible, but the freaking boss battles are epic. They're fun. They'll actually put you with a bunch of randoms and let you play against bosses. That's pretty fun. I'd rather have that dude in every single mission than play against, you know, than just one boss. I want, I want it in every single mission. So, I think that's one feature they're, they're actually missing. Like, let me do matchmaking or let me invite players. Like, they should do two options on the missions. Like, let us choose. Um, if people don't have friends and they want to play with randoms, let us choose that option. So, anyways, another thing that really concerned me a lot was the weapon designing. Like, seriously, if you're like, if your gun is called Mark One. Okay, it looks like so simple, right? Auto rifle, simple auto rifle, no scope. Okay, I'm like, all right, auto rifle, I'll use it. And then you unlock the Mark II. It looks the same thing as the Mark I. And I'm like, okay, I'll give it a chance. Mark III, same shit. Mark IV, same shit. Mark V, they all look the same. And I'm like, dude, add some flame designing on it or something. Like, let me customize it. If you're not going to customize it for me, let me customize the goddamn weapon. Let me put it some camo or something, man, because it looks so bland. It's either white or blue or red. That's how the guns look. It's so bland. It's boring. That's what half of the time the boring game is. Look at your bland ass white ass weapon, which is still the same one from the previous one. All that changes is the freaking power. Seriously, who was the designer for this game? Whoever it was for the weapon design, god damn it, y'all slap yourself, man. Add more cre more creativity. Look at freaking Borderlands, man. They get actually customize your weapon for you and to your own like. Like, damn, there's so many. There's like over 2,000. That's what I heard. Over 2,000 customizable weapons there. Uh, customized weapon for you there. And um, you'll pick them up along the way. Loot crates or you'll find them on the floor. Pretty fun. That's why Borderlands was more fun than this crap. Um, what's another thing? The armor design. It's all right. I uh, gave it like a... 8.0 out of 10, not a big deal on the armor. Um, the weapon design, I give it like a 6.0 out of 10. Uh, what was another thing that I talked before, before the weapon design? I think that's about it, right? Pretty much. The movement of the characters next up, the category. Uh, the movement of the character is pretty much simplistic, uh, like every other FPS game. Uh, nothing big time, nothing new. All there is new is the special abilities, and that's it. The special abilities, um, little. What's it called? Not cutscene. A little you know, action that it does. Um, it's really not that big of a deal. It's like... It's, it's just so stiff. The, sometimes the, the character runs stiff. Every time you go into the hub, the character runs stiff like into some way. Like it's not... It doesn't look like actual movement. Like it's just... Bland. Most of the time this game is bland now that I think about it. <laughs> so the yeah, I mean... The character movement, the action, you know, supposedly it was looking so realistic with the cape. It looks so bland. Uh, I give it like a like a 7.1 out of 10. Seriously, it's kind of boring sometimes just watching your character run. It should have act added more physics into your running and everything. But no, it, it looks so bland. Uh, what's another thing that I'm missing? Uh, we already talked about the uh, graphics. We already talked about story. Uh, some missing features of the game. Uh, you guys go to the hub, to the main world. You know, the last city on Earth, supposedly. Uh, we go. If you go there, you should be able to meet other guardians out there. You know, playing from another world or something. You should be able to meet all the guardians that are playing this game. And at the same time, you cannot chat with them. Yeah, go to the hub right now in Destiny. You can't chat with anyone. 
you gotta find them up in PlayStation. Like you gotta look up for their names and like, oh yeah, I can finally chat with you. I'm like, dude, in Minecraft, there's a freaking uh, like chatter box on the bottom left, and just click on it, and everybody will talk to each other right there and then. Everybody in the hub. Where in the world did they miss that feature, man? Like, this should have been there. It should have. Or maybe they're gonna add it like a DLC. I'm like, dude, really? DLC for a chat box? No. <laughs> no, just no. So, that's another feature that's missing. Another feature that's really missing is the, um, oh, I forgot, man. I forgot what's the other feature. Uh, but there's like several features missing. I mean, like, seriously, they should have added a lot of the features in the game. Like, I think they're pretty much gone. Uh, supposedly, I, was, I heard there was going to be more ex additional story mode uh, lines, like, with DLC. And I'm like, dude, if you can make that DLC real quick, why the fuck can't you just put it in the game? Put it in the fucking game. Finish your goddamn game. Seriously, like, Bungie's not making their name better, man. It looks like Activision. I bet Activision bought Bungie, didn't they? So anyways, I think that's about it, right? Did I mention everything? The gun designing, characters. Uh, the characters are not really that big of a deal. There's no like main character or anything. It's just yourself and talking to random ass characters. They really don't make the big names for themselves. Um, yeah, I mean, that's about it. The hub ain't that big. I mean, I, I thought it was gonna be big, but no, it isn't. It's just freaking small little piece ass world. I'm like, oh shit, you know, I'm expected to like visit a whole big ass city or something like they showed us in the trailer. Like, oh, hopefully I can walk into that city, meet merchants, meet weapons, blacksmiths or whatever they want to call themselves and buy them in the stores or something. And I'm going to see like 40 other players running into the same spot because they want to do the same thing. But no, the max amount of people that can fit in the hub, I think it's around, like around 25 or 30. And also, the, this bring up a this this really brings up a big question: Is it really an MMO? Is it really? If you guys have played MMOs before, I I've did I've done it before, and I've seen some gameplay on it on MMO games. And um, to me, people playing missions, it should be like around ten people at the same time taking out an objective. But no, if you guys go into the missions, you can only invite three people. And I'm like, are you seriously calling this an MMO or just a cooperative gameplay? That's it. It's like calling Call of Duty World at War an MMO, but it's not really an MMO. It's just an FPS. <laughs> so it's the same thing. Like, they, it's not an MMO, man. It's really not. I really expected this game to be that big, but it ain't. And also, which brings me to this, this next category that I almost forgot. Multiplayer. The multiplayer, right away guys, I just want to say that I want to give the multiplayer a 7 out of 10. It's not that impressive. It's not really that big of a deal to play on. Because really, you're going to be mismatched. You're going to be matched up against level 20s while you're level 7 or level 6. So the, the level balancing is terribly done there in the freaking multiplayer. Also, the game modes. God damn it. Why the hell is it 6 versus 6? If you were going to lie to us that this was going to be an MMO, at least lie to us good. Let us have an 8 versus 8. That's the minimum I will go there with an MMO. 8 versus 8. Have you seen how big your fucking maps are? Damn, man. Like, seriously, it's really pissing me off already making this review. Uh, like, I would have preferred to have like a game. I was expecting to have a game mode that was at least 12 versus 12, 10 versus 10, or 8 versus 8. But 6 versus 6? Are you preparing us for another goddamn Call of Duty game? Because seriously, that's how Call of Duty Ghost is right now. Seriously is. They want to make it into a 6 vs 6 and look what happened. The freaking game sucks. This game, 6 vs 6 again because they want to keep it competitive. Competitive is not the big ass market here. The, the big ass market is casual gamers. People playing constantly your games. But no, they rather satisfy a small group of people. I don't understand this. This is seriously not like <sighs> whoever went to business school and decided to do that instead that instead of like satisfying the casual gamers and shit, they out of like I don't know. I know they went to college and shit, but like still, why are they doing this? Like, start with the six versus six and let us play. Add so many shit to it that you know the game was gonna be so exciting. 
Um, another thing that really I want to talk about the multiplayer is that the uh, special abilities are too OP. Like for example, the the one from the from the regular one, the Titan, uh, the Smash Floor one. That one can actually be a one hit kill. I rather have the special abilities to take away at least 75% of your health, and then I'll understand that that's a fucking special ability. But no, they are all one hit kill. All of them. Especially the one that really annoys me the most, the one from the magician ones. Damn it. Just throw a purple ass ball onto the floor and they disappear in fat air and shit. And I'm like, shit, man. Especially if their whole enemy team is like the magician type titan whatever they want to call themselves it's annoying as hell man so the multiplayer actually is a 7 out of 10 guys it's not that fun to play in overall i just want to give this game an 8.5 out of 10 i know the grade should be slower than that but the reason why i give it an 8.5 out of 10 because the rest of it counts the boss battles are epic they're pretty good the music is pretty good um i enjoy doing every single boss battle i mean i'd rather go back and do it again that's the replay value of the boss battles this freaking high but overall the game is an 8.5 in even though there's a lot of problems with the graphics a lot of mission features you know which i'm still pissed about hopefully they do put them pretty back you know pretty soon like give us a fucking chat box um but anyways it's an 8.5 out of 10 um really expecting more from this game but it really let me down it's not even youtube showable here since nobody saw my freaking story mode um it's just not that impressive really not it's just like a casual thing if you're like a competitive um, multiplayer gamer you're not gonna enjoy this game you're actually gonna set it like a week after if you're a casual gamer you're gonna play this game until you find every single secret about it so that's pretty much my explanation of how people like this game if you're a game if you're a competitive gamer you will give this game a 7 out of 10 if you're a casual gamer you will give this game an 8.5 out of 10 if you're an obsessive motherfucker like in destiny deck for anything which is probably a little kid you'll probably give this game a 9.5 out of 10 but in reality it's an 8.5 out of 10 it's not that big it's not bigger than halo it's not bigger than call of duty sends me to say that but it's the truth it's not bigger than call of duty and not even in multiplayer man um it's not bigger than battlefield either sadly sadly and, and it's freaking next gen so Anyways, that's my review, guys. Total review of this game is an 8.5 out of 10. Despite the story, the graphics, and every other category that I gave, like an 8, 7.7 and under, um, the game is still an 8.5 out of 10. It's a good game to have, like, till the next good game. Like, for example, Far Cry or Metal Gear. That's the time you sell this game for that game. So, it's not a 10-year game. It's just a one-time thing. One-year game.